So in the beginning, we talked a little bit about a blog and I'd said I'd come back and visit it. So let's do that. Let's go back up to our wrench. And then we're gonna scroll down to where we get class blog. And I enable the blog here. And this is where students can post to the blog. So obviously on or off in the blog settings, this is where I say I can show folders if I want students to be able to see the folders for some reason. I can enable comments on the class blog so they can make comments back and forth to each other in a collaboration. I can password protect my blog, which is a good idea so the kids know here's the password for the blog and then no one else can see it except for your students who have the password. Let's go back. Um, and then also um, I can change my blog appearance. So same way that I did the front, I can have a name for my blog. Here's how you would log in. Lisa L. Class is my login, blog.seesaw.me. And I could describe the blog here. I can add a header if I want to. I can either upload an image that I currently have um, and select it from my computer. Um, or I could use a camera to take a picture so that I can personalize my blog. And then I can um, view the blog so I can see what it looks like. And then also I can connect it to blogs that I might have connected to this. I might have another blog that my students are using and I wanna connect that one to this one. So I, if I create more than one Seesaw blog or if I have students in other classes and I want them to collaborate together. So now that we've created the blog, um, we're gonna go into the blog, which is over here on the right-hand side. And this is where um, I can have my stu students post. I'll, all posts published to the blog by students require teacher approval. And so I can go into the show me how, and it shows us how to use a Seesaw blog. We've set it up. Um, how do I enable or disable comments? Remember, we talked about that as well. And if for some reason I want to get rid of my blog, I can turn it off. Um, and I will add the video on here that shows you a little bit about how to use the blog as well. Um, and then I'm going to go back to my journal. And I'm gonna put a note to my students. Um, today, can you open the blog and tell me how you are feeling after feeling today and what you are excited to learn. So again, whatever I want. So I'm going to type the note and I could also record what I wanted to say as well for my students. We've talked about that before. I'm not going to go ahead and click the button. Um, so I can put the assignment. I'm gonna assign it to all students in my classroom. And actually I'm gonna take a few people off. And then it's assigning to all students that are in my classroom. And then as the sample student, I see this and down here, I have the ability to click on the blog symbol and I would open that up. Um, and I'm gonna publish it to the blog so my students can see it. And then when I go to look at my blog, notice that that's there and students can then make comments. Um, And my students can make a comment and post to it. And then again, I can always comment back. 
um, or if I have this open, then all students can comment to each other as well. So again, the blog's a great communication and collaboration tool, um, maybe just a way for students to talk with each other, have conversations, talk about books, how are they solving a math problem, maybe something from their literacy unit, or um, maybe we're talking about something in social studies and we want everybody to weigh in with their opinion on that. So again, just a great tool to use and the blog is not live until you've gone up to your settings and turned that on and set up the password for all your students to have access to that. Good luck with the blog.